Hello and welcome back to AOR. This is round number two for season 13 at the Bahrain Grand Prix for the PS4 F1 League. We are back here today and joining me in the commentary box is Tom. Yep, hello everybody and welcome back once again, like I have said, to round two of the season at Bahrain. And last time out in Australia, an absolute cracker. A uh, really, really good race. I really thoroughly enjoyed commentating that one. And obviously last time out, uh, Jim Nervo Tank taking the race win in dominant fashion, controlling the race from start to finish. And he'll be hoping to do the exact same thing out of this time out in Bahrain. Yeah, for sure. Well, he's got pedigree here at the Bahrain Grand Prix. He was season 12's winner and pole position, man. So we'll see if he can do that again. So without further ado, let's go to the qualifying report. Here we are for the qualifying comparison for AR PS4 around 2 at Bahrain and this week we have got the POVs from Ali K in the Mercedes on the left hand side and Arbos 00 in the Renault on the right. Coming down the long main straight with the RS wide open into the first corner, very heavy braking at around the 100 meter board, down into first gear for the best rotation before shifting up quickly again and controlling the traction through the kink of turn 2. Arbos short shifting a bit more than Ali there to help with stability and now on the short run into turn 4 you have to spot the braking again just after the 100 meter board briefly down to second gear to get a car turn in slight lock up there for Ali on the inside front and now controlling the overstrayer nicely into the high speed chicane of five and six and you can just see how close it is between these two drivers quite tricky to get a good line through here gotta be really precise on the steering Ali with a big kick of overstrayer on the curb controlling it very well as they now get a car turn around for the turn eight hairpin back up the hill now short shifting a bit as well as they now prepare for arguably the most tricky corner on the whole circuit the braking through turn nine across the track without locking up and trying to carry as much speed as possible around the slow turn 10 to get a good run onto the straight with a DRS, a second DRS zone on the circuit but not quite as long as the main straight and now breaking into turn 11 medium speed corner tricky to get the throttle on through here though as you turn to the left while accelerating and on the freeze frame now you can see that Ali has gained a very slight advantage through the middle sector only the final sector to go now which has two corners turning into the penultimate corner from far wide briefly down into third gear again trying to not take too much off the outside curb and then they only have one corner to go in the lap it can all be thrown away if they don't nail this one breaking just after the 100 meter board again third gear hitting the apex avoiding the curb on the exit controlling any potential overstair and then the run towards the line and there we go a very small gap between Ali K who takes pole position here in front of our boss by less than a tenth of a second Thank you, Fizzy, for the qualifying comparison. Looking here for the grid for the Bahrain Grand Prix and kicking it off with Ali, who's the man on pole position in the Mercedes, who a man that being out of was very unlucky last time out in Australia and really seemed like a bit of a dark horse in terms of his pace and this time really getting the grips of the car and again a solid pole position for himself here in round two of the season with RBOS, the man also on the podium in Australia in second place in the first of the Renaults with Clarkie, a person who really impressed last time out in Australia, also getting third place there with Arezzi, the man and finished in second place last time in Australia getting P4 there with the top four covered by just over one and a half tenths of a second so incredibly close between those guys with Jamie in fifth place in the first of the McLarens good job from him there with Alex in sixth in the second Renault with RC Wallen in the Williams getting a pretty impressive qualifying there up in P7 for the first of the Williams cars with Jay Thorne in the in the second Red Bull in P8 also you know incredibly close to RC Wallen just shy of getting P7 there with Jim Nervotank the man who won last time out in a disappointing ninth place in the man who got pole last season so uh, obviously he won't be too happy with that lap time four tenths off pole position there his teammate Ali K with I am Loki in the first of the Haas cars running out the top 10 and moving into the low half of the table big C there in P11 in the Ferrari just over half a second off pole position there a Ferrari fan in P12 running off the sixth row in the first of the Force Indias with Shelley in the manor in P13 with Walsh in the second half in P14 with H Racing Green the man who really impressed last time out also in Australia down in P15 with Woolley the man who also impressed starting from last place in Australia this time qualifying in P16 with Nardi X team in the second Williams the one man to try and qualify on a harder compound down in P17 with Desin Pele in the second force in the down in P18. A big shot player, unfortunately getting a penalty in qualifying and I super scrub getting disqualified and that is going to be a top 20 that's going to take us swiftly on to the race for the Bahrain Grand Prix. Right, so here we are for the Bahrain Grand Prix round two of this season. We had a fantastic round last time out to open off this season and I'm looking forward to this one, Tom. It should be another cracker. 
Yep, I think, uh, you know, Bahrain, especially since it's moved to a transitional night race, has become an absolute cracker in the V6 era. And I think this promises to be no different to any of the past races. And I think got a very promising grid there with a few mixed results in qualifying, like I said before. You know, the likes of, uh, obviously, Nervo Tank going to be trying to fight through the field. And I think that'll make a quite interesting race. And also up front, you know, will Ali K finally, you know, get, um, try and get rid of his Hulu Australia and try and get a good, uh, good race underneath him. And also RBS looking to impress in the Renault. So there's a few uh, different guys obviously Clark as well look very aggressive in that first race really try and get onto the maybe toss up of the podium today and also people like H Racing Green and also well uh, Jamie as well both from McLaren who impressed in the race last time out will they try and get another shocking result from McLaren Honda so we have to wait and see but um it's looking very promising here this race Arif. Yeah, plenty a lot of storylines here in this race. We've also got people like Jay Thorne, who obviously crashed out in the last round, wanting to prove something. Obviously, his teammate Aresi did really well getting second place. So, you know, got a lot of different people looking to prove themselves. You've got Wallen there in the Williams in seventh place. You can see now riding on board with Jay Thorne, who had a great qualifying compared to what he managed last time out. So a lot of people have improved from this race, uh, from last one, and then be looking to make that step up, hopefully, and kick off their season. And some others, they'll be looking to recover from what was a poor qualifying, as you mentioned, Tom Novotank. Quite uh, strange to see him down there compared to his teammate Ali. So that'll be quite an interesting uh, kind of story to see if he kind of makes up positions early on or does he play it cautious? You know, you never know what can happen in an online race. So we'll just have to kind of see. Yeah, absolutely. And I think also, you know, the strategy factor is going to be a big one for this race. You know, a track where in the past, you know, the 2016 season, especially in the title regulation, because of the heat, it's been a big issue. Obviously, with the night race, it's gone down a few degrees and it's not as bad as in the past, but it's still a very real factor. And I think, you know, I think the two stops probably looking at like the best strategy, but you can play around with quite um, the options of the tires. I think there's quite a few different options for you. You know, you could perfectly run all three uh, compounds in the same order and get to the end of the race quite comfortably. Maybe try and be a bit more ballsy and aggressive and try and run a super soft 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 and that would uh that would imply you have to be a bit of tar saving at some point but you know like i said there's different um options but i think this is one of the races where all three compounds are going to beautifully come into play however and i think it's going to really mix up the racing along with the already mixed up grid that we have here today yeah, I think it's going to be quite on the fly, potentially. Drivers kind of just seeing where they are in the race at a certain point, maybe as they get towards the end of the tyres to really decide what their strategy is going to be. But uh, we're coming towards the formation of the grid, and as you said, under the kind of dusk setting here at Bahrain, looks lovely, and we're getting ready to start round number two. Round number one was so, so good, and uh, I think this one should be equally as well. So here's the final few. Nardi X team there on Super Soft. We've got Desen Pele and Big Shot play, obviously, with a penalty in qualifying on the medium tyres so uh, two compound difference there between those drivers so plenty of different things going to start at the very uh, first stint for this race but here we go we line up to five red lights for the Bahrain Grand Prix round two of season 13 of AOR five red lights are out and we are underway slight delay there but Ali K gets off to a good start it looks like towards turn one RBOS will try and slipstream the alter the red ball in the background may try something into turn one and there's a little bit of a hustle between the three cars behind Ali K and it looks like Clark he's had a great start Clarky up into second place there there's been contact for Nova Tank there there's Wallen off on the left hand side there's been a major issue for a Renault car there Jay Thorne has also had another tangle so that's not what he wanted but Nova Tank trying to avoid the action there Tom Clarky off to a flyer Absolutely, and Ali K getting the best start of the lot there in the Mercedes, really getting a nice clean start in first place. RBOS, you know, getting a bit out of shape in the start, down to P5, so a pretty poor one from him, obviously on the dirt side of the grid, and very conservative into turn one there, but overall, a pretty decent start from a few of those guys, and uh, obviously the incident at turn one, which we might get a few replays of in a moment's time, but uh, everyone filtering through into the second sector for the first time in this race, and the people like I Am Loki, for example, in the halves there, getting their great start up into P6, for example, who was P10 on the grid at the start, so a good start from him there, but um, I think RBOS, RBOS down a 20th place, so I, I thought it was uh, RBOS in 5th place, but it's actually not him. It's RBOS who's actually gone for the spin himself, so a little bit of content we have to get a replay from because he obviously signed in 2nd place. So it's actually Alex and the other Renaults in P5, so my apologies there, but um, we have to watch a replay, like I said, of what happened at the start. But so far, so good, and everyone filtering into a bit of a natural rhythm, trying to get to grip with the uh, higher fuel loads and also the track conditions on these slightly worn tyres, which are qualifying used tyres for the top 10. But right now, here we are with the reigning champion, Nervo Tank, on board, right behind I am 
Sam Loki opting to start on the super soft tyre and he's right on his gearbox here. Going on to the start of lap two, he's going to try and go for a move here. Down the pit straight, almost very close to the contact there, keeping the front wing just about in one piece and getting past quite comfortably into the first corner there for P6 and uh, making light work of I am Loki. There is the, the reigning world champion. A little bit of contact here, the man of Woolley and uh, I believe that's the Williams of uh, X, uh, Nardi X team and now the, the McLaren of race, I Racing Green or H Racing Green getting in on the action here. Great action already on lap two. These three guys uh, scrapping out for position here in the tail end of the of the um, Noir for the top 20. But um, so far, good action. Nice and clean so far around the outside. A little bit of a tank up there. Just about missing the McLaren. And so far, so good, Aaron. No contact other than turn one incident there. Yep, so everyone's filtering through, just trying to keep it clean. But uh, yeah, already Nova Tank making moves, getting up the grid up into sixth place there. His teammate controlling the race, and now behind, we can see the Red Bull car getting right up to low key there. So that's Jay Thorne, who obviously I think was the one who made some contact with RBOS. So hopefully, we will see a replay later on. But uh, I said Jay Thorne has something to prove this race off that crash out, and he hasn't started in the best way possible in that opening lap. But uh, he's right, he's uh, looking to chase up low key. We can see up ahead, Alter looks like Nova Tank's already on the back of Alex, I think, and equally so Clark. You can see in the top right, setting the purple second sector. Obviously, it's uh, only the second lap, so I've I'm pretty sure everyone will be going purple this stage, but Clarkey looks within about the half second. Obviously, DRS won't be activated quite yet, but through the last corner, he may be able to get a good enough run. We know how good the slipstream is on this game. Goes up into rich mix here. So Ali K, where will he go? Will he play defensive? He's uh, kind of wiggling around. Clarkey says the fast half of the Grand Prix. So he's gone better than Alex. Then Nova Tank says the fast half of the Grand Prix. But here goes Clarkey into turn one. DRS will be enabled for this lap. And behind them, it's Alex and Nova Tank that goes side by side. I mentioned this before. Nova Tank goes down the inside, has got it, and he's up into fifth place so Nova Tank really making a good progression in this opening stint Tom and then up ahead we've got uh, Ali K still defending from Clarkey and then in the background Jamie getting a bit restless there with a resty potentially so it's all kicking off in the top five top six and Nova Tank is uh can now confirm to the left hand side you can see are uh, confirmed up into fifth place and Ali just about keeps ahead of Clarkey there but uh, looks like Clarkey you know impressed in the first round Tom and he's uh he's looking hungry for this one yeah absolutely you know in the comments a lot of people thought he was the driver of the day and uh, at the moment with the Mercedes cars it's definitely looking like one car's working better than the other at the moment and uh, Nervo Tank really switching that car on at the moment in these conditions and Ali K up against it so far but so far so good in terms of contact and uh, a few close shaves but nothing major and I think now Jamie the man who put on a really impressive performance last time out in Australia and a really impressive performance so far this weekend at Bahrain is now going to be under pressure from the reigning world champion very soon but he's currently actually putting a resi under a little bit of pressure in the Red Bull there also had a pretty good oh! and uh, yeah no Nova Tank getting all out of shape through the corner there. So Nova Tank really trying to push hard in that Mercedes and try and make up for lost ground in qualifying there. But that's, not going, to, that's going to do his tyres absolutely no favours whatsoever as we filter through now onto the start of lap four. A few little bit, a bit of smoke, a few lockups here and there. But uh, so far, so good. And look at Clarkey actually, Arif. Pretty close to Ali Kame. Could be starting up for a move into the first yep, corner possibly. Very, DRS now enabled very on lap four. And uh, let's see, there it goes. We can see in the distance, Clarkey's making a move. Is he going to make a stick this time into turn one? South by side action and Clark he gets that Novo Tank contact. Novo Tank spawn. They've all gone. It's all gone. Contact. Pair shape for everybody there. I think. Alex round. Yep. Alex is round. Yep. Alex oh is, god, he, this is this is very very tight. There's there's all cars going off. It's all kicking off now. So right behind Novo Tank. Uh, from P5 down to PA, it's all kicking off. The racing insert, Nervo Tank and Car95. Jamie is under investigation for a collision there, so we'll have to see if the stewards will be giving anything to Nervo Tank. So it looks like Nervo Tank kind of made a bit of a kind of audacious move into turn one. Now we can see behind, and we've got oh, Nardi XT making so a move close. down the inside of Ferrari fan, and also Alex is trying to get in the mix there, as obviously Alex was caught up in the incident with Nervo Tank as well. And uh, we, now we've got the Red Bull being a bit susceptible to Nervo Tank there. Nervo Tank down the inside. Oh, that will be uh, Aressi, Aressi and Clarkey as well. Incredible Somehow stuff. caught up in it. Yeah. Somehow caught up in it. And this is all kicking off now for P2. Nova Tank's up into P2. This is absolutely insane. It's 1 2 for Mercedes now out of nowhere. So at the same time, Nova Tank made that kind of dive bomb move into turn one. We saw Clarkey somehow lose some time there, get flustered. And now he finds himself down in P4, Aressi up into P3. And it's a 1 2 for Mercedes now. And Jamie is still very much there as the, as the only consistent, constant thing in that top five hanging on to the back of the Sauber now rather than a Red Bull car and maybe you can size him up Clarkey trying to fight back on a Ressi obviously will be annoyed with himself going down to P4 he was looking to maybe take the lead of this Grand Prix but uh, that's going to be good that's going to be interesting for the, for later on in the race Tom if there is a kind of a penalty to be applied to Nova Tank who is still under pressure oh, very Jamie. much and Jamie down the inside of Clarkey goes for the move great little move they'll go side by side 
through turn two, and he'll just about hang it around, give him the room, Watch but he's Jay got Thorne. it, Jamie, he's going to have to defend though. dangerous here, Jay Thorne in the Red Bull, looking very dangerous around the outside of uh, Clarky by looking at his right at the moment, he's going backwards, and look at that Jay Thorne around the outside of Jamie, is he going to pull it off around the outside, very tight through there, and I think, has he got the move done, it's still side by side, into turn six, I believe, still side by side, is he going to pull off the move, and just about, Jamie holds on to P4, oh, now he's got back the up the inside, <laughs> oh my god, he's back up inside, is he made a six side by side action here, Jamie still holding it beautifully, great defensive driver in there, and the McLaren absolutely not panicking under pressure, and holding the position beautifully there, underneath the pressure of the Red Bull there, and great stuff there from Jamie, but look at this, Nervo tank within the RS of ADK, hunting down his teammate, but personally, Arif, I don't know about you, but at first glance, it looked like a possible penalty to Nervo tank for me, but now, Loki and uh, Clarky side by side into this left-hander, but now look at this, big C from P11 on the grid, getting itself up the grid now into P8 on these soft tyres, so hard to compound on the Ferrari car, is he going to try and go for a dive here? Yes, he does. Lock up on the right front. Very close action. Side by side here between the two cars here. And Loki just about getting the traction. Now look at this. The mana car of Shelly getting in on the action. And is he going to make it three wide down the, down the road? Doesn't look like it. But now the, the mana car of Shelly going up the inside of Loki. So, oh, oh there's contact. been contact. Shelly's yeah. round. Shelly's round. And Nervo, I think that's Ali K. Ali K in the pit. Yeah, Ali K is pit from the lead of this Grand Prix in the top right there. But uh, the, 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 the mana car is round and down the inside goes Jay Thorne now on the McLaren of Jamie. They go side by side yet again. These two are loving each other's company in this race. And then we've got on the top right again, the Renault is now to the pits of Alex that will be. So obviously Alex was the one, one of the guys who got kind of got down the order after Nervo Tanks incident in turn one. So a bit of an earlier pit stop there. But now finally, we can look at a replay and if we can calm things down, we can catch our breath, Tom, and Absolutely. we can have a look at what happened at the start here, but uh, wow, right now, currently, so much action going on, but let's have a look, right, uh, OB RBOS gets a good run, locks up a little bit into turn one, and then it actually gets swamped by the Red Bull car, and Clarkey right around the outside, him. so impressive there from Clarkey, then through turn two, and towards turn three, oh, oh. Jay Thorne clips there him, just is. looked like a bit of Kind of, they're both all going for the same bit of space there on the tarmac, really. A bit of a racing incident, I think, in my opinion. This is going to give Wallen us a good here. view, actually. RC Wallen, yeah, it's going to give us a great view of the incident. Oh. And, oh, we can't actually see because he actually gets punted off himself. So, um, the Williams all in the gravel there. I think that was, that might have been Alex, I think, Arif, the other Willi the other Renault. I think so, I think him. so. And that is such a shame for Wallen because he had such a great qualifying compared to where he qualified in Australia. So, real big shame. You can see behind Walsh also getting into some action. Nardi X team in the second Williams car. Alter getting a bit of a tangle there. So, it was clean up front, but a little bit uh, kind of uh, argy bargy behind them. But now we cut back to this POV of Nardi X team making a move on Big C in the Ferrari. And Big C looks like under pressure. He made a good start up into P8, but now he's under pressure and he's actually into leave this Grand Prix. People are making the pit stops. Obviously, Tom is on the soft tyres, but Nardi X team on the super softs is a uh, continuing to go on and so he's into the lead of this Grand Prix so far and Big C is now defending from I think this will be Ferrari fan in the force in behind you can see the mana car also making a move and now coming out the pits is Nervo Tank and here is Aresi obviously these two battled away for quite some time in the Australian Grand Prix and so oh, far it's looking like the same and Ali K is now in th effective net third position I think you could say behind his team at Nervo Tank and behind Aresi so that pit stop has not worked out and then oh, here is my. a replay yeah, I think that was the uh, I'm Loki, I think, who went straight into the side yeah. of Alex there. So, um, bit of a dangerous incident there. I think Alex doing a great job to actually see that going coming. Actually, a uh, straight line in the corner a bit. Look at the action then. All of a sudden, almost 3 1 into turn 4. And Alex goes back up the inside of Big C. And oh, ever so close, just keeping the car pointing in the right direction. But look at this car's left, look right, at the and center here. Cars. It's just turn absolutely. 6. Incredible stuff. And Nardi XT making a move a little bit. We're all banging there, Ferrari fan. He still goes around the outside, though. Fantastic stuff there. And he actually takes the move up the inside, which we saw earlier on in the race. But um, great, great action all across the field here at Bahrain. And look at this. What is he going to go for the move? Oh, my oh, God. Oh, he's gone for a spin. Oh, yeah, he's gone for a spin. Oh, he just, the gap was ever, that, one, of them gaps, one of them gaps is always closing, unfortunately. You know, one of them ones where once you commit to it, if, he, if the car head's turning in on you, it's game over. But um, this is going to be, gonna be the Tom, answer. Let's have a look yeah. at this replay. This is going to be the answer to our question. Ali K lost some time, so I wonder. Yes, he's going to get oh held my. up here. We've yes. got three cars, and that is so Major unfortunate for him. Fun. The worst timing there. Worst timing there for Ali K. He does set the fast up the Grand Prix, though. So as we're on board with Jamie, you can see Ali K moving around in the break zone. Turn one right up the gearbox, He's it looks like. Him. That's He's a Resi. Yeah, He's that's a Resi. Yeah, sorry, yeah. So Ali K is actually past there. The update, uh, the, it didn't update on the left-hand side. So Ali K passed the Resi. So good move there. 
And so Ali K getting a move on with fast up the Grand Prix. I think actually he was maybe ahead already. So maybe that was a Ressi looking at the back of Ali K. But we've got a five big second news. penalty for Nervo Tank. So that is big. So Nervo Tank, he's going to be in a net lead in this Grand Prix, I think. But if he wants to win this race now and match his season 12 result, he's going to have to find that extra five seconds and make that gap. That will be a post-race penalty applied that stewards will apply. So that won't be something he serves in the middle of this race. It will be something that's applied electronically afterwards. So he's going to have to find that time from somewhere, Tom. So right now he's going to be a bit you know, annoyed with himself potentially, but annoyed with some other drivers. We haven't fully seen a replay well, of his incident quite there yet. I think, but, he'll be, um, uh, I think he'll be loving his position because the fact is he's got a nice bit of clean track ahead of him now and he's exactly where he wants to be up front in the lead of the race in first place, or in a net first place, should I say. And he's going to have that clean track ahead of him to really pump in those lap times, just like Australia, and be as consistent as he, as he can be. So I think the five seconds is pretty... Um, personally, I think it's a bit of a leading penalty. The incident seemed a bit more severe than that. But meanwhile, a bit of action here. I think it's Big C under pressure from Ferrari fan who takes the lead of the race. And uh, maybe those soft tyres on, on Big C's car starting to give way out of... Obviously, they were around 30% worn around a few laps ago. So obviously, they must be hitting the 50s or the 60s by now. But look at this. The Williams now of, um, I believe, uh, Nardi X team getting to move on here getting past the Sauber and also can he try and get Alex into turn one it's going to be a long shot here but I've seen it happen before and it looks like no reason he's going to think about it twice and go for the safe option there getting past the Sauber quite comfortably and now resuming back to the battle up front between the two leaders here on soft tyres I believe Froy fan and BC squabbling out for first place in this race we've also Shelly in the manor there getting very close to these guys and actually trying to get himself in on the action here so um, these three could come together pretty soon in terms of an on track battle three car tasty little battle for the leader of the race here but obviously compared to the uh, um, the, the net race leaders, these guys are still yet to pit. So, um, as you can see, yeah, it will, so it will help Shelley out massively, though, if Big C and Ferrari fan do get in a fight. Obviously, Shelley was the one that kind of half spun almost at the very end of the lap previously. So, it will help him out to get his race back on track. But, yeah, these guys will go in a little bit longer. But as you mentioned, Tom, it was already about 39%, I think it was, on the rear tyres of Big C just a couple of laps ago. So, begs the question if, uh, you know, the rear tyres will kind of allow the front tyres to continue going on for many more laps. But yeah. he's going to close up as best as he can to Ferrari fan. And I think it looks like he's going to try and size up a move but Ferrari fan may oh no there was a bit of snaking around potentially both of those guys thought about them comes there, to the for an early pit stop but yeah. here we go with DRS in the slipstream for Big C in the Ferrari down the inside and this should be looking like a pretty easy move just needs to get it correct in the break zone to turn one nice and easy into turn two now but Ferrari fan will get a good run so he may get another good he may get a chance to uh, make a pass on the right hand side here down the inside or around the outside potential we know in real life a lot of drivers like to make the move around here and try and go side by side and run each other, uh, run each other wide on that area of the track, but not going to be anything so far. But we're back with our net race leader, I guess you could say, Nervo Tank, catching up to H Racing Green, who's been a bit quiet in this race. We haven't seen much of him yet, in contrast to the Australian Grand Prix he had. But we're going to have a look at a replay now of Nardi X team and Alex here. So we saw a bit. Of, oh, oh, no, oh, he's oh for full whole spin. Oh, yeah, just, nearly a, just keeps nearly, it. Just, but um, nearly I a think... complete spin for Nardi. Yeah. So he just about caught it, but that's not what, what he wants. He's now got a bit of his end plate off, and he's uh, lost a whole heap of time. So we've seen a lot more mistakes, actually, in this Grand Prix from drivers in general, Tom, I think you, you might agree. So a lot of people maybe just pushing that extra bit harder, maybe. As I say, they're trying to prove a point. And Nervo Tank trying to prove a point here, getting the move done early on Ace Racing Green. Didn't waste any time at all. So I think a lot of drivers, as I mentioned, the very start of this race on the formation lap, that, you know, maybe they're trying to kickstart their season off here. They didn't have the best time in Australia. And so it just generally looks like the entire grid is going for even more punchier moves than they would have done in Australia. And so now we can see finally on lap 10, this will be the Ferrari of Big C comes in to the pit stop. Shelley continues on his soft tyres. Uh, Walsh on the mediums continues on. So he'll be going even uh, much, much longer in this Grand Prix. And then behind them, finally, is Nervo Tank making the move on uh, Desimbe on the Force India here. So this will be Nervo Tank cleanly passed with DRS. Don't think the Force India will put up too much of a fight. There's no point to it. And so Nervo Tank once again in some good clean air. Look at that, all that clean track. And behind, you can see Ali K still under pressure from Moresi. That hasn't changed. That gap has been constant since we last saw them there. But uh, Nervo Tank, he's looking very familiar in, in, in the kind of driving seat, just, you know, controlling his own race, Tom. Yeah, I mean, this is this is what he's known for. He is the master of controlling the race, and uh, you could say it's equivalent of a Sebastian Vettel in terms of uh, AOR, especially back in his heyday with the Red Bull team. But um, 
right now, Nova Tank, you know, he's got that car separation between himself and his teammate. Just going to be a run through here of the grid. Big C there. And sub by sub between I'm Loki and I believe his teammate never has or the Williams of, um, I think, it's, I think it might be a Williams from this distance. It's a bit hard to see this far away, but, um, a little bit of a battle going on there with I'm Loki coming out on top there. And there's beautiful little helicopter shot actually out of a nice little view of the track there. And indeed it was a Williams who uh, I'm Loki he overtook there. I believe now the X team, but that, that'd be my guess or maybe, um, his teammate, but uh, so far things have been pretty tasty. Desin Pele actually uh, again overtaken by Ali K in the second Mercedes there, and uh, Desin Pele fighting a losing battle on them old medium tyres. And it uh, looks like now uh, Rez is looking to try and get himself in on the action and try and get past these two guys as we go down onto the back straight for the final time on lap 11. And uh, Desin Pele actually getting very really close to Ali K. He's going to go for a move possibly. I don't think he's going to think better of it. And uh, I think Ferrari fans in the pit lane, the race leader in the pit lane, so uh, we're going to have to see where he comes out of the pit lane. But uh, Ali K is he going to go for the pit? No, he isn't. It looks like he's for a bit of a dummy there, maybe trying to shake off the uh, DRS and old fashioned Fernando Alonso move there, trying to weave left, right, and center. But here comes Desi Pele actually back on these old tires up the inside of Ali K in turn one. Is he going to get it done on the brakes? Yes, he does. And a beautiful move there. But Ali K, I think, still on the outside, trying to force his way through. Look at that. Sub oh! oh, contact. He just catches the car. Incredible stuff there and holds on to the position. But look at this and now. Aresi now making the move yep, for P2. Yep. This will be on the Force India down the inside. Lock up from the Force India. So he's going to go wide. And Aresi now. Now in the driving seat on that fight against Ali K, so he'll get past down the inside there on the right-hander. Will the Force India try? It looks like even though his tyres may be worn, he's going to try. Maybe tries to pop around the outside. Breaks late. He's really giving these guys, these top guys, a bit of a fight here. And he's not kind of just pushing over as they come through. And Ali K, you can see, after that half spin, caught it beautifully, but he did lose time ultimately. And so he's now to try and fight back right up the gearbox there of that Ferrari. And behind him will also be the McLaren of Jamie, who I said was a bit of a constant there in a P5 earlier on this Grand Prix and he's still there and this is Ali K down the inside though another lock up potentially from the four senior not too sure if it's the spectator cam or not I mean it, it very much could be just a lock up there because he's going to be on very worn tyres and then round the outside the McLaren will try and go hustling and harrying him uh, with Jamie and uh, so at the moment Ali K passing and so it will be Nova Tank clean up in front Aresi second place and a net third place will be Ali K uh, it's not quite updated there, there you go finally updating Ali K in third place and Jamie will probably be P4 by the time the, uh, this Force India comes in I suspect pretty soon not quite yet no not quite yet not quite yet so Jamie will have to make a move it should be a pretty easy one though with DRS so he's going to go down the inside the right hand side of the circuit should be pretty easy Ali K you can see closing his DRS into turn one Big C setting the fast up the Grand Prix. So we saw that previously in Australia, that Big C uh, be, being a bit more aggressive in the second half of the race, coming back on fresher tyres. But here goes Ali K now on that place I mentioned earlier. That drivers love to try and squeeze each other side by side, going wide. So here goes Ali K down the inside. Will Aresi try the switch back? I'm not too sure. We can see him just about in the mirrors there. But no, it's no use. So Ali K up into second place and makes it a 1-2 for Mercedes once again like it was earlier on in this Grand Prix. Yeah, absolutely. And uh, I do want to say I have just a bit of a caveat on Desin Pele here. And I, would, I do wonder because there is an outside chance you can do a one stop around here with a medium soft or a soft medium, depending on what tire you start the race on. In this case, Desin Pele starting on the medium tire. And if you can get the medium up until about lap 15, 16, you might just be able to get away with a soft tire if you can drag it to the end and uh, keep it within good uh, tire life. So. I wonder if Desimpel is going to try and go for that um, one stop, which is an outside option. But meanwhile, Jay Thorne getting a nice, comfortable, comprehensive move done there, getting past the Force India driver, getting himself up into P5 there. And uh, both of the Red Bulls and the Mercedes are two teams who we sort of highlighted in the first race out of really sort of, um, you know, putting the hammer down and really, you know, solidifying the fact that they're a team to be uh, a force to be reckoned with this season. Oh, and, uh, Clarky no! Clarky losing Clarky. the back end. It's all gone wrong for him. And he was already down in P15, and now he's lost an end play on the medium tyres, so the downforce is not going to be there whatsoever in the Salva car, but uh, resuming back to the live action now, on board with Jamie, his beautiful little shot here, we've got some battling up ahead into turn one now, throw fan with the fastest up of the race, and I believe that's um, Arezzi attacking Ali K by the look of it, Arif side by side, yeah, side, by side. Arezzi will again. try and get it on the exit, there you go and Arezzi's got it just about, and Jamie's going to come in the background, will Ali K slipstream, and look at that, Jamie's also going to try and join them in the mix, will Jamie try it down the inside, locks up a little bit, things better of it Ali K still very much there, will they go side by side into the S section, Ali K just about, just behind, just behind the rest. He's so, so close between these two drivers. 
and this is turning into a grey squabble and Jamie is uh, probably licking his lips in the background there trying to join in the action but yeah there's Jay Thorne also in the background so Red Bull solidifying trying to get both drivers obviously Jay Thorne had a bad race last time out so if both those drivers can finish in the top five that'll be absolutely brilliant but we've got plenty to go but we're coming up to about halfway through this Grand Prix Tom so at the moment Nova Tank in first place Oresi second then we've got Ali K in third place with DRS wide open and then Jamie in fourth place Jay Thorne fifth we've got Desson Pele on those minion tyres in sixth place Alex in the first Renault in seventh place Big C in eighth place he's doing well and going a bit faster but now we've got Ferrari fan maybe overtaking there up into 8th place and then we've got an RDX team in the lone Williams car there in 10th place with Wallen being spun round uh, earlier on in the Grand Prix but back, getting back to this action Tom Ali yeah. Jay getting right up behind Aresi and probably going to line up a DRS pass yeah. through the final corner nice yeah. and easy so nice here we go down the main straight DRS, we're waiting for the DRS lap to open here. I think uh, it's going to be a losing battle for a race. It's a question of how de late does he dare to break into the first corner here. Look at these two absolutely dicing out as hard as they physically can. A race, he's going to go and try and go back up the inside on the brakes. He's going to think about it, but uh, Ali K just pulls it off around the outside and he's up into second place once again in this Bahrain Grand Prix. And I do want to say, Arif, look how many cars we've got in one shot here. And I do want to say this, this battling, Arif, Nervo Tank is loving this because he is putting out a major gap here to the two guys who are currently batting huge, on track right now. Huge. But um, as you can see, on board with Alex now. And Froy fan getting a move on here, actually. Getting past Big C last lap and now getting past Alex. So Froy fan in the full scene, they're putting off a pretty impressive show in this race, Arif. And uh, compared to Australia, really putting the hammer down. And a very impressive sixth place for him so far. And also Big C getting a move on. He's going to oh! go for five up the inside of Alex here at turn eight. He just doesn't quite pull it off. And Alex in the runner holds on to P7 for now. But a little These bit back in the field. But like I said, Arif, Froy fan really putting on a show. And now, Nervo tank, like I said, really getting the gap out. Look, I mean, look at the minimap there, Arif. Yeah, he's controlling it, but these drivers, my God, they have some balls this race. They're trying it left, right, and center. But let's look at a replay now. Nervo tank, this was the move. Oh my God, what a, gee, it was very, very audacious there, Nervo tank. I think he maybe forgot where the break point exactly was. Probably made the move on the, the, the car on the right, then Here went down the inside of Resi. There you go, from Jamie's point of view. Gets a bit of a Jim Carner into turn one. And that's the, the kind of instant that Novatan gets a five second penalty. So a little bit, little bit of a, you know, I would say complacent there from Novatan, a tiny bit. Uh, you know, he went for it, went for it. I'll give him that. Props for trying to go for it. But uh, just misjudged it on Aresi. And Aresi clearly didn't see him as he tried to turn in. And then you can see now lap 16, we're coming back. This is live action. Ali K side by side into turn two. They go side by side through turn three. And Aresi has got the place Jamie, back up into Jamie. second place. And there goes Jamie. Now they're going to make it three wide. The McLaren is still trying to get this in this. And so far, Jamie hasn't made it through. But now he can actually try and make a move. So far, he's just been sitting back and watching this fight. But now he actually got his nose up side by side with Ali K. Will he try and make a bit of a dive bomb round the outside, down the inside? Ali oh. K goes for the dive bomb. Oh! Oh my god, what Absolutely a move there. Incredible now. You can throw a blanket over these three. Incredible action. Jamie really put on a performance here today. And he's actually got past the resi himself. And Ali K with a beautiful move into turn. A little bit of wheel banging just you know for extra measure and a little pinch of salt on top of the I'm losing overtake. the will to live. Here I'm losing the I'm losing it. I'm losing it. This is absolutely yep, yep. sensational. So absolutely this is absolutely incredible. This is what you get in the top tier of racing in the AOR League on PS4 here. As you can see, incredible action with Ali K leading the way ahead of these three guys of Nervo Tank, his teammate, leading the front race of this race. And um, so far, so good. Looking at Ali K, trying to get the hammer down, trying to get a gap out to Jamie. But obviously, we've got DRS coming up on the pit straight. And these three guys really putting on a clinic today. And a perfect example of what online racing is all about here today. Out of and, um, this yeah, is an here goes Jamie battle. through the final corner here. That pop. So he, he's been sitting back for a few laps now. Kind of just sussing out, waiting for a time. And Ali K is going to come into the pit. So Jamie's going to be denied at making that move. And Ali K probably thinking about his first pit stop and the fact he got caught up with a lot of cars. So maybe coming in for a bit of an earlier pit stop just to completely get a clean run through this pit lane. And thankfully for him, he'll be praising the Lord that no car came through down that pit lane. So 2.6, a little bit slower from Mercedes there. But, uh, you know, obviously didn't get held up as much as he did previously. And Jamie there holds... Holding his own, obviously he would have got some DRS, I think, off Ali K as he went on to the main straight. So for now, keeping hold of Aresi. And this would be a great, great finish if Jamie was to finish on the podium there. Obviously we saw him and H Racing Green doing a fantastic job in the McLaren in, in Australia. But now it looks like H Racing Green just isn't able to match Jamie. Obviously the GP2 champion, a little bit down on pace maybe to his teammate Jamie. And Jamie is really, really showing what he's got in the tank. And Shelley now, we're on board with him in 7th place. Alex up in 6th place. Interesting 
for me that Alex, a little bit lacking of pace so far compared to these top guys in this race. He was the runner-up in season 12, so I'm a little bit surprised that he's not right up there with them, but uh, obviously he did have that half spin, maybe a little bit flustered, a little bit of end plate uh, breakage before in that opening stint, so uh, I don't know, maybe he'll come back into this, but at the moment he's, but he, find himself, he finds himself behind Big C and Ferrari fan, and now we cut back to Ali K, who's going to move on. He's ahead of Jaythorn right now, and then here is, as he mentioned before, uh, Tom, Nervo Tank in a world of his own, and he comes in the pits now, but uh, he's going to be loving life. Yeah, absolutely. I think, like I said, right early on, just when he got the move done for first place and he was in a net first, we did say these were ideal conditions for him, and penalty or not, he loves to push, and this is exactly what he wants. But meanwhile, back to the action now, and we've got Jamie under pressure here from Arezzi, and he gets the move actually done way before turn one, so the Red Bull getting a nice, comfortable move done on the medium tyres. Obviously, Jamie on the softs. Maybe his tyres are starting to maybe hit a bit of a second life now, and starting to fade a little bit into the tyre wear zone. But um, Jamie not giving up on this move just yet. Is he going to try and think about a move up the inside of turn four? Not quite. And Arezzi now, I think he's going to try and uh, state his dominance on that medium tyre. But um, Arif, Ferrari fan in third place. Incredible performance from him. And also, a big CF in fourth place as well so uh, a few great performances here and also i want to say you know he's talking about alex as well but um people like clark in rbs really not recovering from those instances at the start of the race and nowhere to be seen here today yeah, so, so unlucky there. I mean, it's just so hard, especially when you're doing almost a, nearly a complete spin and having to face a wall and maybe re put it into reverse gear. Very, very tough to come back from that. So such a shame for those guys who did so well in Australia. But, you know, that's the luck of the draw we saw previously. Obviously, Jay Thorne got unlucky in Australia. We had, you know, people like Ali getting unlucky. And now he's, he's, he's you know, he's got, he's got his fair share of bad luck in this race as well, to be fair to him. But uh, now he's kind of, you know, rewarded for having such a horrid race in Australia. And he's been pulling off some amazing moves, if you remember just a few laps ago on the Red Bull. But now we're, we're watching back this fight once again with Jamie and Aresio. Right now, 1-2, obviously yet to make their pit stops. And all the time, this is going to be helping the guys behind them. Nerva Tank, even Ali on fresher tyres. Jamie on softs and Aresio on medium. So it's uh, surprising Jamie's going this long and looks like he's going to follow. Yeah, he's going to follow the Red yep. Bull into the pit. So both of them. Yeah, yep. pit stop so battle here battle. between Red Bull and McLaren. So let's see who comes out on top. Theoretically, it's meant to be equal, but uh, unfortunately with F1 2016, it's, uh, we know that's not entirely equal here. And Red Bull with a good pit stop there. What will McLaren do? They're going to strap on another set of soft tyres and it's going to be all equal and it's going to stay the same order there. Red Bull and McLaren. Jay Thor now we're on board and up ahead. You can see, I think that's Ali K making a move on. I am Loki there. So Ali K up into uh, what will be the positions into turn one and well ahead of Aresi and Jay Thorne ahead of Jamie. So Jay Thorne putting in some good lap times there on his medium tyres there. Stay ahead, but obviously now Jamie and Aresi both on our soft tyres. And here comes Jamie already on soft tyres. Bit of lag involved there, but here goes Jamie. Will he try it around the outside? Can't quite tell now from this angle. Much better round the outside. And Jay Thorne probably will have to just kind of take it because I don't think he'll have the tyre wear and grip at this stage as he, obviously Jamie's come out on complete fresh rubber and he's made it stick. And through the S section, he's up the order. And so now he can think about going after a rest. And you can see this in Palais there, extending the track limits a little bit. Maybe uh, feeling that tyre wear already on the soft tyres, lap 19. So he would have pit around lap 16, I think it was, Tom. So he's not doing his tyres much uh, help. And as he said before, he may be trying quite a long strategy there. So that won't be helping him. And then up ahead, you can see Ali K. He's behind. This will be a uh, big, uh, big timer. Yeah, big timer in the Ferrari. We haven't seen too much of him. Obviously, he was disqualified. He uh, got a penalty in qualifying. So he's quite down orders we haven't seen too much of this second Ferrari car but here comes Ali getting held up and that's going to play right in the hands of Jamie and Aresi behind him Tom Yep, and well, first of all, I think it's Big C, not Big Time. Obviously, too much uh, Cold World League for you, Arif. But um, as you can see, Ali K trying to put Big C under major pressure now through the final corner. And I think, you know, Big C also on worn tyres, who's so going to be feeling the pressure. And I think he's actually coming into the pit lane there. So, literally, on cue, as I said about tyre wear, he comes off into the pit lane. So, obviously, too much tyre for him to cope with. And I'm going to guess he's going to go to set of soft tyres. But now, look at this. The Red Bull and also H Racing Green coming to this race a little bit now in the second McLaren River. Arezzi making a nice swift move up the inside of Turn 1. But um, I think Edge Racing Green trying to come back at him here. The reigning GP2 champion trying to make a, a bit of a tussle with the Resi. You know, a man who's uh, in really good form in the F1 league. Trying to make his, his name known or make himself known, should I say, in this league. But um, 
wanted to see if these guys can filter through into a nice comfortable rhythm now into this final part of the race and a big block up there from Big C the race is the leader I believe and uh, locking up the left front and look at that the tire wear there have quite severe and um, I only just realized I think it was actually um, Big Shot player that's the man I was uh, that's the name I was trying to think of the throw just pit who I completely forgot I, I was getting confused with his teammate Big C um, actually Big Shot player that's the one I was looking for so apologies there yeah, that for was the commentator it, that was muck it. up but um, uh, we both mucked each other up there but um, as you can see resuming back onto the action now and Jamie behind his teammate H Racing Green who's on the uh, with a slow compound to Jamie and also Jamie like you said Arif, on fresh rub and here he goes up the inside a major dive and I'm wondering Arif, maybe team work team there, team there. Work. Yep. yeah it's got to be H Racing Green simple move there and uh, H Racing Green not making much of a defensive issue for uh, Jamie there now resuming back to the battle at the front here this time Big C under threat from Shelly on the soft tyres here and the DRS wide open also Shelly there look at them tyres left one on 61% but here he goes DRS wide open up the inside and look at the straight line speed in that mana car there Arif. up the inside of turn one to get the move done for the leader race and look at that Nervo tank hunting these guys down in third place and now the action once again these two guys Ali Kane and Rezzi have been battling out the entire race and still going at it in this final stint here and now Alex putting Jay Thorne under pressure Jay Thorne trying to shake off the DRS here but it's no use as Alex tries to go around the outside of turn one trying to cut him into the episode with a little bit of a pinch there into turn one and gets the move done beautifully and that is absolutely textbook attacking there and now it looks like that's the Jay Thorne coming the back though on the left hand Ferrari side fan. and also yep. we've got Ferrari fan here right behind him so we've got a beautiful view from uh, on board of the Force India Jay Thorne tries his best maybe tries to switch back there definitely try a bit of a late switch back decision from Jay Thorne tries to get enough traction but not going to work but Ferrari fan who impressed in that first stint looking good right behind the Red Bull and now we've got this great panning a helicopter shot of the Red Bull and the Mercedes I believe this will be a Resi and then Ali K right behind him as you mentioned they've been battling all race long these two are probably going to get sick of each other by the end of the race but we've got we're on lap 21 now so it's flown by actually Tom we've only got eight laps left in this Grand Prix and so far Aresi is the one leading this battle between them and at the moment Nervo Tank well we haven't even really mentioned him in a few laps but uh he's just he's he's just looking so calm he's not he, we've not even seen him on the on the cameras as of late he's just got I think he's got this surely he's yeah. got this with eight laps to go I think I think the words to describe him is absolutely bulletproof I think uh you know even if you start P9 he's his consistency and the fact he doesn't really majorly coat, like he doesn't um, crumble under pressure with the exception of that one mistake he made. He's just so consistent and that's really shining through. And now we've got the Red Bull of, uh, I think that was a Jay Thorne trying to throw a dummy. No, sorry, a uh, Resi. It's a Resi, it's a Resi um, defending. Throw, throwing a dummy into the pit lane here, but Ali K trying to put him under pressure here. No slipstream whatsoever. Interesting tactic here, not wanting to dip into the slipstream. So maybe Ali K trying to think of a different sort of move here. But Alex In contrast, now, Alex yep. definitely gets the slipstream down the inside of H Racing Green. And Alex, we've mentioned, uh, was a little bit unfortunate not to have uh, some pace earlier on this race, but now on soft tyres, getting a move on up the order past that McLaren. The McLaren may come back though. You can see up ahead and we've got on board with Jay Thorne though trying to make the move on Ferrari fan. So Ferrari fan has overtaken Jay Thorne somewhere around the lap. Remember Ferrari fan was behind Jay Thorne previously. So Ferrari fan doing well once again on this second stint here and now he's going to get right up behind H Racing Green who's desperately trying to hold on to the position. He's lost one position there and so we'll try and get back to that fight but we're going to move back to Ali K right behind Aresi once again. Will he, have he will have DRS down his back straight but I'm not too sure it's going to be enough for him. But behind him is Jamie, once again, just creeping up behind these two. Maybe just hoping that they go side by side for a few more corners. And then Jamie can come through and maybe try and swoop two positions if he can. But uh, at the moment, these two still not giving anything up. They're kind of just pushing each other, really. Like Vettel and Hamilton back in the Chinese Grand Prix in real life. Just kind of pushing each other for the lap times. Aresi and Ali K just pushing each other with the DRS. Obviously kind of yo-yoing around. We saw that a lot in Australia as well. So I think the same is going to happen until the end of this Grand Prix and really this uh, won't be helping either of them on the tyre wear and so I already mentioned this that may play right into the hands of Jamie right at the death of this Grand Prix but we've got Shelley in the mana car coming to the pit so he was going long on those soft tyres now he'll come on to a set of super soft so well we'll see what Shelley can do right at the end of this Grand Prix he'll be way down the order but he may be very very quick on those super soft tyres and come back to the uh, fights for what will be around P8, P7, uh, P6 uh, potentially. But as he comes out of the pits, he'll, oh, the Ferrari. So the close. Ferrari of uh, Big C just about around the outside. Also on super soft. Big C's been on those tyres for a few more laps though. So Shelley will surely come back at Big C. But he just managed to do that, Ferrari driver. Really good stuff. He just yeah. managed to get ahead of the Manicar there on the exit of uh, turn one there, uh, Tom.
Yeah, absolutely. Uh, for a split second, I had a flashback of the rule off race when uh, Sainz smacked the side of Stroll's side pod there. Yeah. When a big C <laughs> came shooting into the frame. I thought for a second it was going to be a flashback to that incident, but... Um, I mean, look at these two, Arif. Absolutely incredible. I, I'm running out of superlatives to describe these two and they're battling this race. I mean, it's just absolutely incredible and just so fascinating to see the pace be so, so close between two drivers and the fact that DRS keeps them intertwining and keep on re overtaking each other the entirety of a Grand Prix here. But look at this. Froy fan, once again, trying to put Jay Thorne under pressure, who's seemingly re overtaken him at some point in the lap, which we might have yep. missed. But um, Froy fan trying to re overtake the Red Bull of Jay Thorne at some point here. And uh, will he try and maybe go for a little bit of a move here? And this is a nice overtaking pot spot to dive up the inside late in the brace. Maybe Jim Nardi, uh, sorry, uh, Nardi Exxon will try and demonstrate for us, not quite as he's too far behind, but normally into this right hand, a nice little late lunge is quite a preferred move by some of the drivers here, but um, there's probably holding him off for the time being. And uh, now coming back to the super soft runners of Shelly and Big C. DRS wide open now onto the start of lap 24. Shelly making a nice comfortable move with DRS assistance past And up Big ahead C. also, and yep, we've got the, the Ferrari Jay fan Thorn. overtaking Jay Thorne, so that move's been done as well, so they switch positions yet again, and Nardi X team switch positions with the other four things of this and ballet so we've got uh, three synchronized overtakes on the same part of the circuit there great stuff but this is gonna actually uh, Jay Thorne and uh, Ferrari fan but battling's actually gonna hold them back and actually push them towards yep straight away back to these super soft runners exactly what I was about to allude to you've now got Shelly and Big C on fresher you know faster ties two compounds fresher uh, uh, faster ties right up the back and now Jay Thorne trying to go to the inside of Ferrari fan Ferrari fan getting a little bit flustered there they're going a little bit wide, and so these guys are going to be licking their lips on the super softs and uh, they get towards the end of this Grand Prix. Five laps remaining, and look at that. Nose to tail. So, so close. Going to DRS off each other. And here goes the man. He's got a great drive. Jay Thorne didn't get quite the exit he was hoping for. So will he make the move? It's going to be quite a tricky play. He's a bit off camber corner here on the left-hand side. But he makes it stick. Hits the apex. Hits the curb. And he's up into P7 now. And he'll chase after Ferrari fan. And then back up ahead, I think this is Ali K. Still trying to pressurize Aresi. But I'm very impressed by Aresi. That he's not, he's not cracked yet. And Jay me closing up on them but these guys nothing between them there goes Ali K potentially maybe has a look down the last quarter not quite there Tom but he may try now he's gonna be right up here for the DRS Right now, I think there's two beautiful analogies. Right now, Jamie's like an absolute shark trying to hunt these two down and waiting for that moment to strike, literally like a shark. And then obviously, the guys are super soft, so like Hyenas trying to hunt down a fresh piece of meat. But look at this now. Ali K just about getting the move done on the racing to toe on beautifully there with some DRS assistance. But Jamie, at the same time, you've got Jay Thorne yep, in the top the right, making the move down Shady the inside of Big C. Yep. Oh my Just god, they're still side by side. Everywhere. We can't call this action at once, but look at this incredible split cam here. And they're racy trying to re overtake Ali K. And look at this, we've now come back to the main battle here for P2 with Jamie looking very racy towards these two guys. But um, now I've noticed Shelly on the Super Softs getting the move done there. Eventually, on both medium tire runners. But Jamie here really looking dangerous. And I think, Arif, my money's on Jamie here. You know that. I think I'm going to go Jamie for this one. He's he's timing this beautifully, I think. And I think he's going to have the best tires come in in the race. So um, He's going he's gonna to have to suss it out for sure but our timing will be key timing will be key I'm not too sure when he'll make the move that's for him to calculate but at the moment these guys are just closing the gap further I don't know how possible how it's possible but they're closing the gap to one another more and more each lap and getting tighter and tighter and each time they do this they're going to hold each other up hold each other up and then this you never know you may may see some of the super soft runners right at the background there who are overtaking the likes of Jay maybe coming through you can see talking about those guys big C on the super soft trying to go around the outside of the medium tire run Friday 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 fan tries to defend, but he's gone off track a little bit. But he's done well to try and park the car. But Big C's not having none of it. He goes down the inside. A bit of a track extension on the curb there a little bit. That should be fine because that's tip for tat for the Ferrari fan uh, for Cindy there. And coming back to this now, we've got Ressi coming back on a charge on Ali K in the slipstream. Moves to the left hand side. And where is Jamie going to uh, gonna be? I think he's a bit too far back. But Ali K, will he try and defend? But no, it's going to be a complete move done into turn one. But we know how good the traction's been through turn two. So towards now, turn four towards that famous corner as we end sector one. Here goes Ali K back in the slipstream of the Red Bull car. Going to try it round the outside. Great panning camera here. A little bit of a lock up on the Red Bull car, but the Red Bull will have the momentum, the racing line into the S section. And for now, Arrest is the one that stays ahead. But uh, the amount of times we've seen these guys swap positions, I've lost count. Must be at least, I would say, 20 plus times they swap positions and now Jamie really on the back of uh, of, of, of Ali K so I'm, I'm kind of getting a little bit frustrated really I want to, I want Jamie to try and make that move I'm rooting for him here to try and make that move because he's just there in fourth as you said Tom like a shark just waiting for the move 
But uh, maybe he knows something that I don't. Maybe he's saving his tyres. Not too sure. But here now, on board with the Manicar. Shelley on the super soft. Makes the move round the outside on the soft tyre runner. Alex, better traction, much better traction. And he's up the order now, Tom. But getting back to this action, I'll let you take this one. Ali K right up behind Arresti once again. Absolutely, and uh, what more would you expect? It's been the story of the entire race, and you know, right now, I mean, we're only two races into the season, but this could easily be the best battle in terms of a race in the season already. And uh, I've run out of like just just words to describe how long and how many different moves these guys have done to each other. And we're only two races in; we still got three and a half more laps to go. Out of. Absolutely incredible stuff here, and I can't wait. I'm looking my lips for this, just like Jamie probably is in that McLaren cockpit right now. But here we go, Ali K with DRS, Arisi going very defensive this time, Ali K with the straight line speed advantage, making the move around the outside. Arezzi very close, pushing him through turn one, but Ali K getting the move done, and an absolute carbon copy of the move Arezzi pulled off one lap ago on the Mercedes driver. And uh, Jamie, once again, just, you know, I I'm wonder just, now if he's got the pace this. to keep up. I'm what, yeah, I'm watching this. I'm just seeing, a lap after lap, we said the same thing about Jamie just being there, but he's, he is just doing that. He's, he's just being there. I'm, I'm starting to worry a little bit that if he, is he even going to try this pass at some point? Just looks like it doesn't have maybe the traction through turn two to get a move done in turn three. And then down the back straight, obviously, you've got Aresi and Ali K DRSing off each other and kind of using that to pull each other along like you've seen sometimes at Monza and qualifying, just using that to get some speed there in a straight line. So not too sure, but this time uh, the gap's pretty much the same between the McLaren to the Red Bull, to the Red Bull, to the Mercedes. And once again, both with DRS, so equal straight line speed there. So obviously maybe running their similar sort of setups on the wings, uh, it looks like it. So yeah, Tom, I don't know. Is we he leaving this, it too late now? Yeah, I don't know what we say, but once again, he looks really close again. So maybe it's just the way the lap is. Maybe his, his first section is just a little bit more poor compared to these guys. Because right now, he's actually, I think he's closer to Arezzi than what Arezzi is to Ali K. And I'm not, I'm not wrong when I say that. I mean, he looks very close this time around. But uh, the DRS, the, um, the, the, the deficit in DRS, obviously, because Arezzi's got DRS himself, he's not going to get past it. But I tell you what, this could be a three wide opportunity here to tell one. I don't know about you, but these guys are going to get very close. Here and here comes Arezzi on Ali K. And here comes Jamie. He's going to strike Jamie shock. Three wide into turn one. This is what we were talking about. A little bit of content, just about keeping the front wing in one piece. And Arezzi pulls off the move beautifully. Somehow, and that yeah. is what we were talking about. Uh, Jamie, like a shark, waiting for the time to strike. And now Walsh getting a move on, getting past the man of car for P uh, P12. Sorry, and. Um, I think, I think Jamie's decided now. I think that. I think that. I think this lap, Jamie's decided because he's now actually. I think in the background there, is he past the? Uh, no, he's not quite past. A bit of deceiving camera angle there, but I think Jamie has now decided this is the time to push because he. That was the first time we've seen him actually try and make the move down the inside. Didn't quite work because the resting at the same time was making the move on Ali K. But I think now he's started to. You know, this is where he's cracking the whip. He's decided. Okay, now's the time to try and do this. Uh, Clark, he said the fast up the Grand Prix. Unfortunately, we haven't seen much of him. So unfortunate. Just going back to him, mentioning him, you know, he was looking so, so promising. Really quite a shame there uh, to not see him in this fight. I think he would have been right here, really, with Jamie, because he was there in the opening stint. But uh, let's see now, through this third sector, through the swooping right-hander, Jamie a bit closer to Ali than I think Ali is to Ressi, looks like, from this camera angle. And, ooh, Ressi being very... Very aggressive, trying to break the tone slipstream. So he's really trying to get away now. This is where he's trying to bolt and trying to secure this second place, which will be great for him because that will also match Novotank. And oh, wait, is he? Oh, he's going very, very aggressive. So much so that I thought he was going to make a late pit stop for some reason. Gonna, but he's just going to be the ultimate so dive on the last lap. That that is how aggressive he's being with breaking the toe. And here goes Ali oh. K. Late lunge. No, not quite. Not quite. Thought better of it. But will Jamie now, will this open the gap for him to maybe make the traction zone through turn two? Doesn't look like it, actually. Unfortunately for him, he's going to be in the slipstream once again in Aresi. This is why Aresi was playing so hard to break the toe. Because Ali K is really going for it. Probably up into Rich Mix at this stage. But we're on the last lap of the Grand Prix. So it's now or never for Ali K or Jamie or Aresi here. And so at the moment... It's Aresi second place, Ali K, uh, Ali K in third place, and Jamie fourth. Nervo Tank way out in the lead. He's going to take this race win for sure, so it's going to be a brilliant win for him. But hopefully we're going to stay on board for this entire last uh, two sectors because Ali K now will have DRS. Jamie will also have DRS. Looks like Jamie may be a little bit closer to Ali K than Ali K is to Aresi. But once again, Aresi goes aggressive left, then back to the right. While the old Fox moves like we've seen Alonso make before to break the toe through the swing right hand on the left hand up the hill through to the last sector now. This is, uh, well, this is it for Ali K. 
He's gonna he's gotta get the slipstream and then he's gotta try some he's last gasp, gasp move. I'm not sure if he's gonna do it. Let's see. But up ahead, here is the man with all the pace in the world. So cool, so calm. He's got a five second penalty, remember. It's not gonna matter because Nervotank's gonna come through to make it two out of two here in AOR season 13. And through the final corner, Ali K slipstreaming Aresi, but it's not gonna be it. And Aresi is gonna make it a second second place in a row there and Ali K gets a good third place good comeback for him from the Australian Grand Prix just couldn't do it and Tom what was to be of Jamie just a bit of false hope there just stays put in fourth place it's still a very decent position don't get me wrong and on the line a few moves there between I'm Loki potentially being overtaken oh, and then we can see punches. Does punches he punches yep on both rears I think by the look of it so uh an absolutely Disaster. torrid race with this in Pali. Last time in Australia, got tangled in a couple of incidents. And once again, his race ends on a proper sour note and a real bitter pill to swallow for the Force India driver. Meanwhile, his teammate just running up the top 10, getting another point for Force India. But look at that. I mean, he's just, uh, at this point, you know, don't want to use profanity, but obviously not giving a single F come this point of the race. Getting overtaken by Clark <laughs> there, just for misery, right at the line then. RBOS in P19. So, RBOS... The man who's starting in second place this race out of nowhere to yes, be seen. And uh, here is. he is. This is the man here. Look at this. I mean, uh, a very disappointed one for the Renault driver. Second place in qualifying. He'll be very disappointed with Let's that. Let's remember, and, um, Renault will leave the constructors going into this round. They did really well exactly. together at Australia. So now, Calamities and RBOS parks it up <laughs> in a bit of a bit of a kind of a almost, uh, how do you say it? Like, put a kind of, um, uh, I don't even know what the word is, Tom, here. What is he doing now? I think he's... I think he's given up with life there. No, he's having a bit of fun reversing across the line. Yeah, I well, think... Well, RBOS, um, at least he's having some fun there. I think that's I think that's really been the only fun part of his race today, Tom. He's highlight of the race, basically, I think. Um, yeah, yeah, great highlight of that, to be honest. Uh, uh, yeah, 10 out of 10. But here we go. Replay is, here is, of Nardi X team. Is this going to be a move on the line for Ferrari fan or Nardi X team? Ferrari fan across the line, maybe tries no, no, it. No, 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 this, this is, is actually on, this yeah, is onto la on the last lap. Sorry, onto the last lap. So, actually, this is great stuff. On the last lap of the Grand Prix, Jaython loses two positions. Nardi X team with a great little move there down the inside, but then the Ferrari fan, uh, Force India, may come back. No, Nardi X team does make that, so that's a double overtake for the Williams car there. Great showing, but then will the Force India come back in the mirrors? Had a little bit of a look, but that's calamities for Jaython at the end of the race on the last lap of the Grand Prix to lose two positions there, Tom. Yep, absolutely incredible race. And, uh, you know, we talked about Australia being a good race, but the action in this one, off the charts. Absolutely brilliant yep. race for round two. And this is the standard race that you can expect in AOR F1 on the PS4 League. And uh, hopefully you guys have absolutely loved this race, but uh, we're now going to run you through the full race classification. Yep, so we got Nervo Tagging taking his second win in the season. Two out of two there. You can see the five second penalty did not even matter to him. He got it. He got it measured. It was 2.2 the gap to Aresti. So I think he measured it a little bit. He probably took it easy on those medium tires. Aresti, though, gets another second place. So the same top two as it was in Australia. Very surprising considering where those guys qualified. Ali K, the pole sitter, down in third place. But I say down, probably a good showing for him to bounce back from Australia and uh, trying his best to kind of back up his teammate there. But as we said, Nervo Tagging just too much pace today and just showing the class and why he's the reigning world champion. Jamie, though, another great finish. What could have been for him, though, I feel. Maybe a missed out second or third place opportunity, but another solid race for him in fourth place. Shelly getting a great one for Manor there in fifth place. Alex, unfortunate, in sixth place for the Renault. Big C, again, doing great to get into those kind of positions where he kind of normally kind of was in Australia there. Seventh place him, he's the lead Ferrari. Nardi X team, the lead Williams, doing great on the last half of the Grand Prix. Going on to the last half of the Grand Prix, overtaking two cars there for four points. Walsh gets ninth place. Ferrari fan in tenth place there in the Force India. So Jay Thorne uh, going down outside the top ten. Really unfortunate for him because obviously he crashed out in Australia. And that's a real big shame for him. But that's the top ten. Jay Thorne there also, like you mentioned, P11. Uh, you know, at one time looking on for solid points. So really right at death there. Just losing a bit of pace. I wonder if that medium tire in the last didn't really sort of hurt him a bit. And uh, also I'm Loki. Good performance for him today in the Haas there. And uh, really get himself in the points. And uh, one, at one time really running quite nicely in the points. Eventually just dropping out in P12 of his teammate getting the measure of him today. And then big shot player also running quite nicely in the low in the tail end of the points today with Woolly. A fairly quiet race today with his teammate Shelley really putting the shine on what was a pretty good race of man today with Woolly. Very few highlights compared to the first race in Australia. H Racing Green also a very quiet race for himself with his teammate Jamie really putting the shine on for McLaren today and really showing what he can do in the AOR League of RC Wallen, the man who signed in P7 
a very disappointing race for him today and dropping a few places with a free stop strategy so maybe a bit of contact for him but uh, definitely a race to forget for him once again with Desert Pele with that infamous double rear punch and like I said if he did actually go for that one stop strategy so um, it didn't really work for him unfortunately and uh, the double rear punch at the end really capping off the misery for him today with Clarkie and RBOS in 18th and 19th the last of the classified finishes with a very disappointing race so um, those two right at the tail end really could have uh, put on a really interesting mix there in that top five especially the RBOS starting in second place and Clarkie at one time running in second by lap three so those two have been really gutted with the performance here today and I Super Scrub get, unfortunately DNFing this race and that is going to conclude the top 20 classified runners for the Bahrain Grand Prix and now looking at the Drivers World Championship. Yep, looking at that table now, Nervo Tank obviously with 50 points, 25, 25 in the first two rounds and the same for Resi 36, so both those drivers getting the maximum they could get in their respective positions. Then Alex moves up into third place, Ali K up into fourth obviously but getting 15 points on the board finally. RBOS drops down obviously no points today, did get that third place from last round so he's level with Ali K but drops to fifth obviously with Ali getting the better position. Jamie in sixth place with 14 points, the same as Big C in seventh in the Ferrari. Shelly getting up there with that great position today in, uh, with 11 points in PA. Clarkey, one of the other runners who got caught up along with RBOS, down in ninth place now. Really, really unfortunate for him. And Ace Racing, uh, Ace Racing Green also going down the order with six points. So that will be the top 10 in the Drivers' Championship for now. And then the second half, we've got Walsh in 11th place with six points. Nardi X team getting points on the board now up into fourth place. Really great showing for him right at the end to get those points for Williams. Ferrari fan with their single one point. And then you've got Woolly, J3. I'm Loki. We've got Wallen, a big shot player, decent player, and then I super scrub to round out the grid with no points there from P14 down to P20. And then for the constructors title, well, we saw Tom, I mentioned Renault were ahead going into this round, but now it's comfortably gone back to where we probably thought it would have been with such a strong pairing of Noah Tank and Ali K. Mercedes up there, 65 points to Red Bull Racing's 36. Renault one point behind. With 35 points there in third place. McLaren up in 20, uh, up with 20 points in fourth place. Ferrari stay put with five, uh, with fifth place there. So they're looking very much right slap bang in the middle. Mana move up the order into sixth place. Sauber move down, obviously, with Clark here in that poor race. And I subscribe as well in seventh, uh, seventh position with 10 points to uh, Mana's 11 points. And then Haas six points ahead uh, down the order. And then Williams in four uh, with four points in ninth place. Force India, the, the last of the rest with one point there. But Tom, definitely the top three as we mentioned in Australia already Mercedes, Red Bull and Renault but now it's very much looking like maybe Mercedes have the edge those two drivers doing yeah. excellently this race and it's more of a case of it's then Red Bull and Renault for the rest best of the rest pretty much yeah well obviously at first we thought it was a bit closer and I still think there could be um as a, as a team, I think there's still potential there. Obviously, Nova Tank, you know, he is bulletproof and Ali K showed exactly what we could do today when the car is underneath him. Obviously, Arez is the only one there who can really spell the party. Also, I think Jay Thorne, a bit unlucky in the first two races, and I think he might be deserving of a higher place. Don't forget, you know, he did DNF in the first race in Australia, so he could have a few more points on the ball there. But um, look at the difference. I mean, almost double the points already Mercedes to Renault there. Renault were leading into this race. Absolutely incredible how that swung around already. But um, next time out, we'll be coming to you from the Chinese Grand Prix at Shanghai. Personally, I've done about you, but it's my least favorite track on this calendar. And I'll, I'll, I'm curious to see how the drivers tackle this very tricky circuit, which, you know, is a real tester for the tyres. And obviously, there's always a chance that rain could come into the equation here, Arif. Yeah, for sure. It's a front-limited circuit, so that's going to be a bit of a difference to Bahrain, where it's more rear-limited. But uh, China, you know, on this game, on F1 2016, has been uh, quite a cracker for offline racing at least, so I'm hoping that it'll be equally a cracker for online racing down that back straight. Plenty of chances for Ali K and Aresi to slip through each other once again all race long. So we'll see you guys then for the Chinese Grand Prix round three, but that's been round two, a fantastic one, and ultimately Nerva Tank makes it two out of two. But we'll see you guys then. If you did enjoy this video, smash that like button. Let us know what you thought of the race in the comments below. Do get subscribed to all the people involved in this video, guys. Links in the description. But we'll see you guys then for the Chinese Grand Prix. Hope you have enjoyed this one. Hope you enjoy the rest of your day and we'll see you guys next time.